Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news, insights, and commentary. This is Research Business Daily Report, and we're sponsored today and this week by 4i, the science of growth. Using growth and foresight analytics, 4i helps its clients deliver more predictable and sustainable results, and that also helps them realize unparalleled growth. In fact, 4i is holding a webinar this Wednesday to show you exactly how it's done and to help get things purring in your business. We'll have details about that webinar at the end of today's report. Every major election year, like in 2014, I approach pollsters and ask, is there anything new that they're doing differently this time around? And normally, they tell me, no, there's really not a heck of a lot going on. But with this year's important gubernatorial and Senate races only five weeks away, there is breaking polling news. However, it's not from an established source. Microsoft Research has launched a new website to do its own brand of polling and to make predictions. Joseph Finney on winbeta.org explained that Microsoft's polling venture is enabling users to answer opinion questions about a wide variety of topics, not just political, but getting into things like energy, the environment, and social issues. And those users are also being told to make predictions. PC World's Mark Hackman, in writing about this situation, revealed that Microsoft's prediction engine, which has been dubbed the Microsoft Prediction Lab, relies on some unorthodox message, including predictions based on the informed opinions of men and women who have a vested interest in the outcome because they've placed a bet on it. These individuals are even encouraged to vote over and over again on the Microsoft Prediction Lab so that Microsoft can track if there are any changes in political direction. Now this all has the sound of the well-known Iowa election markets that every four years allow traders to buy and sell contracts based on presidential election result expectations and these have been uncannily accurate since 1988. During the recent World Cup, Microsoft says its prediction engine correctly predicted 15 of 16 matches using historical win-loss data, online betting data, and more, all of which was applied to an algorithm which in turn sorted and weighed each piece of data for relevancy and accuracy. Now, prior to the Scottish vote for independence a few weeks ago, a Microsoft researcher, David Rothschild, went out on a limb unlike every professional pollster who was viewing the situation. He correctly projected a no vote would win by a wide margin. And in fact, when the results came in, the Scots had voted no by 10 plus points. We're linking to two differentiated news reports about this Microsoft research development. So take a look for yourself. Moving on, at the IAB Mix Conference in New York this week, Yumi, whose business is Digital Idea Brand Advertising Solutions and IPG Media Lab, unveiled joint research that explores how to reach audiences when they are most receptive and attentive. The high fragmentation of media these days makes it difficult to know when consumers may be paying attention to any kind of advertising. However, this study claims to have two important insights. One, that context plays a key role in pursuit of attention, and two, that location and device both influence a person's potential degree of openness to and engagement with advertising. Now there's an infographic and a full report on this project that you can check out at youmeresearch.com. That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by 4i, the science of growth. Would you like to learn how to get a bigger bang from your insights and analytics investments? Well, then join 4i's free webinar this Wednesday, October the 1st, at 1 p.m. Eastern and 12 noon Central Time. You'll discover how to transform your insights and analytics functions into a much more valuable resource and simultaneously to deliver better understanding and enable action towards future growth opportunities. To register for the webinar, you can visit www.4igrowth.com. We hope you have a great research day and that you'll join us back here tomorrow.